Hello, Jacob here with PC Games Zen, and as you can tell by what's behind me, I'm here at E3. Microsoft just wrapped up its conference where, between the blitz of a million games it seemed, it also showed off some stuff that might interest us hardware buffs. Microsoft announced a follow-up to the Elite controller, which is one of our favorite controllers of all time, the Series 2, and with it brought a huge amount of advancements over the original model. A new Elite controller was actually heavily rumored for last year's E3, but it turned out to be a no-show. Still, we wouldn't let that get us down too much, and we only had to wait 12 months for Microsoft to announce the actual follow-up to the Elite controller, and that's the Series 2, which comes with adjustable thumbsticks, a new grip design, and most importantly, a rechargeable battery, so that you don't have to go searching for AA batteries out of one of your TV remotes. The adjustable thumbstick design will allow you to change the depth of the controller's analog control to your own taste or what's best suited for your game of choice. And if you have a couple of games of choice, there's now three onboard profiles, which is an increase over the two of the past, which is a welcome change for those of you with wildly varied gaming libraries or just a little obsessive over the details. The controller will also come with a new textured grip design, which will stop it from slipping out when your palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. I'm really sorry. That'll be available on November 4th for $180 or £160. Microsoft also announced that its next-gen console, Project Scarlet, will come in 2020, which, while isn't that much of interest for us PC gamers, it is quite important if you're a follower of AMD's technology. Microsoft announced that this console will be capable of ray tracing, contain an SSD, and be launched with Halo Infinite. But most importantly, it's going to be built with AMD Navi and Zen 2 architectures at its core. These were originally rumored to be exclusive to Sony's next-gen PlayStation, or PlayStation 5, or whatever they decide to call it. But as it turns out, it looks like both Microsoft and Sony will be using AMD's exact same tech in both of their consoles, which are both scheduled to launch next year. Microsoft also announced that this SoC will be equipped with GDDR6 memory and be capable of 8K 120 FPS, so you best be picking up a new TV capable of that refresh rate, or maybe just a gaming monitor. But also that means something else for us PC gamers. AMD teased recently that it needs to talk about its ray tracing strategy pretty soon, and Microsoft has says that ray tracing in the new Xbox is going to be hardware accelerated, and seeing as that's AMD tech, that means that they're going to have a ray tracing solution pretty soon. But with clients in both Microsoft and Sony, next year is going to be a huge one for AMD Semi Custom Division, which means revenue for the red team is going to be up. On stage, Phil Spencer also talked about Microsoft's Project xCloud. It's competitor to Google Stadia and the many, many, many other streaming techs that are out there in the world today. Also mentioned during the show is the fact you can turn your Xbox One into your very own free and personal xCloud server. That's a familiar notion for us PC gamers, but there's still Microsoft's hardware up in the cloud via Microsoft servers that will stream to your devices if you don't have the console kit at home. And AMD come out on top of this one as well, because while Project Stadia is powered by custom AMD GPUs in the cloud, Microsoft's own xCloud service is going to be powered by Xbox One hardware, and that is again all made by AMD. You'll be able to try Microsoft Service out for yourself in October, which is just a month before Google Stadia will launch to the public, so there could be quite a fight going on there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our brief roundup of Microsoft's E3 conference, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your E3. Also, check back on PCGamesEnd.com and this here YouTube channel for even more from the show. We're sure there's going to be plenty to cover. Also, give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!